Hi, I'm Only Trails, and welcome to season two. I've decided to make an account that can only train skills or do quests when it's required for a clue scroll. My goal is to get every unique reward from every tier of clue scroll. And later in the endgame, I want all the stats and all the items so I can complete every single monster clue. Currently, I'm on Elites. When I've done 50, I'll move on to monsters and get into the endgame. I might be a dumbass sometimes, but you'll learn to love it. Enough rambling, let's do some clues. Lads, Welcome to episode 39 of the Clue Scroll Only Iron Man. We entered a new realm. We're into elite clues, and last episode was actually incredible. We got the Ranger Tunic out of our very first elite clue. Now the goal for this episode is for sure get another elite clue. And how are we going to do that? We're going to kill some Skatizo. As you can see, I have 12 Ancient Shards, good for, I think, 4,000 charges on my Arc Light. So we're going to make that soon, and we have two Dark Totems. We have a chance of getting another Totem Top from Skatizo 2, so we can make three Totems. But I hope two Totems is enough. It's about a 50% chance we get it. But first, I'm going to make sure that this construction level is up to par. I am 54 right now, and now that we move on to Elite Clues, we can actually train our construction to 77. Uh, but since I've never done 55 for hard clues, let me do that quick because with these Skatizo grinds, we are 100% going to get a hard clue, and I want to start building these hard clue stashes. I have enough oak planks, that's not the problem, so let's just bust this out real quick. Trails the builder, can we fix it? Trails the builder, yes we can! Scoop bucking dizzy and Colin too. Lofty and Wendy, join the crew. Trails and the gang have so much fun Working together, they get the job done Trails the Builder, can we fix it? Trails the Builder, yes we can! One, two, and three. This should be level 55 construction. There we go, and we can now make a formal garden all that trash, but stash units hard is the thing we want. Incredible. Now, let's get prepared. Look at this beast. Look at him, he's ready. The inventory setup, everything is all ready. I still need to make this an arc light. Can I do that right here, actually? Wait, wait let me check. If I can, that'd be great. Create the arc light. Oh, it has to be in the catacombs. Okay, 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 okay. Let's go there. Let's do this. Lads, I'm so excited every single time I do new content now. It's crazy. Let's get that elite clue. Let's get that pet. Let's get that heart clue. Oh, there's so much I want right now. There's so much, so much possibilities. I haven't looked up the drops from Skatizo, um, but I'm sure they're great. There's just two things I want, and that's the heart clue and the elite clue. Boom. Can I do it now? Wait, what? Yes. There we go. And then a couple more. Can I just use it? There we go. Okay, 2,000 charges on the arc light. Oh my god. Uh, I'm, I'm quite scared. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, maybe I should put on my quick prayers with these two. It's gonna drain my prayer a lot, though, but... Alright. Skatizo, I'm ready, dude. I'm ready. Here we go. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Drink. Drink a pot. Drink another pot. Oh crap, he's already attacking me. Shit! Get that prayer up. Oof, 17. Now his defense is lowered. Damn, look at that! Two big hits. That means his defense is really low right now. Um, I'm gonna position myself between these two altars. I'm on strength. I'm going to put myself on attack for a little bit. Or not. Fuck it. We'll, we'll go for strength. So far, so good. That's a big hit from Skatizo, my boy. There we go. Big hits. Big hits. Look at that. I'm gonna eat one shark here. Is that this altar? Yeah, that's this one. This one is coming up in a sec. I don't know what they really do. I think they heal them or something or give them a little bit more power. So I'm just gonna, when this one comes up, kill it as soon as possible. There we go. Turn Protect from Mage on. Get it out of here. Lads, am I a PVMing god or not? So far, so yo, I'm, I'm gonna get a strength level on Skatizo, maybe. <sighs> this Adamant Defender is not doing me justice at all. 39 more damage. There we go. 24 more? No, that's not an 8, dude. Oh, yes, it is! I killed him! Nice! Alright, let's check the loot. Oh, first get the so kill. What can we get? What can we get? Clue Scroll Elite! We got it on the first one! We got it on the first one! That's amazing! Yes! Yes! Holy shit! 
first kill, Clue Scroll Elite. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. This is crazy. Let's do the Heart Clue first, though. There we go. That is the Heart Coscus. Let's open it real quick. It is absolute trash. But now, for the moment of truth, what is the grind for this Elite Clue? Serious Agility Course. Wait, what level is that? 60? All right, let's train one more level of agility. <laughs> it's been ages since I've been on this rooftop. I thought I could actually get my marks of grace finally. I think I needed about 71 more, um, but we only got 24, so we still don't have the graceful set. Not too big of an issue though, I'd barely ever wear it. Anyways, that is 60 agility. We can now do the serious rooftop course and complete this clue step. Now, let me check how many we have. We need 260 marks of grace in total to get the graceful set and run 213, which is quite disappointing. Where does this course start even? Never actually done this course. Okay, it's right here. So we did need the utility thing, which is all good. Next clue, stump crying, talk to the head. I don't know if that requires the plague mask, but I'm going to bring it anyway. Right, got my mask on. And I believe it's down here, the start of morning's end part one or part two, one of the two. <laughs> Wait, what? How? Why can I not get in there? All right, I think the full mourner's outfit should work. All right, so far so good. Elite step number three incoming. It's another coordinate one. I didn't bring any range gear, so if the Bandos, if it's not the Bandos guy, yep, there we go. <laughs> I'm gonna have to log and hop worlds and hope it switches. Right, step four. This is going pretty smoothly, but I know I'm talking too loud because this is gonna be a ratio located in the. Yo, so alright so far. This crate could be it already. Let's see. Oh! <laughs> It actually is, lads. We just completed our second Elite Clue already. Holy shit. Let's open it because I can't wait. It's never going to be as good as the previous one, but we'll see. Eh, it's pretty trash. So this is what a trash Elite Casket looks like. All right. Guess we know that now. And there it is, the second Skitizo kill of the account. Let's please pray for a unique. That'd be beautiful. Drop something. <gasps> yes! Holy shit, and Onyx Bolt Tips? That's sick. What is this RNG? All right. Got another elite, that's sick! Right, and let's check out what the step is. Vanaka in Edgeville Dungeon, pretty easy. But let's also do this heart clue and see where we strand. I'm gonna try and get both the caskets, but if we strand on the grind for the elite clue, I'll first complete the hard one. Uh-oh, lads, we actually already made it to the next big grind, to be honest. I don't know if I can get this pirate bandana, I'm going to look that up in a second, but the biggest part is this magic longbow, which actually requires 85 fletching, holy shit. I do have a magic longbow, so I'm not going to grind all the way to 85, but I'll do as much as I can. I'll do some AFK fletching in the meanwhile. I can also get 75 woodcutting now, which is great. Now let's look up this pirate bandana. Hopefully I can get this easily. The dragon necklace I already can make because that is only, let's say, 72 crafting. So that's pretty easy. Now this pirate bandana is hopefully... Oh, I can just buy it in Mostly Harmless? Oh, that's beautiful. All right. Let's first do this heart clue then. Right, so I'm here in the woodcutting guild because you get an invisible plus seven woodcutting boost. And so far we've already trained uh, three woodcutting levels. I'm cutting maples down here, but still have a surprise for you guys. That previous heart clue, I have completed it and here is the reward. Still have the elite clue in my bank, obviously, because I want to train some woodcutting. But let's open this 102 heart caskets. And that is a unique. <laughs> Holy shit, I didn't even think we would get some new uniques. There we go. Yeah, it is. That's great. Let's put those Clue Hunter boots and this monster clue away. Now we got a couple. A couple of play bodies. We just need the Zamorak and the Guthix one, and I think that's it. Let's keep going for a bit of woodcutting. I hope to get 70. I'm not going to show my woodcutting level yet, but I just got a hard clue from a bird's nest, so let's do that one first so we can get more of them. It's actually so sick you can get these from skilling now. Right, meanwhile I also got a beginner casket, so let's do that one first. Which- Oh, oh my god, there's one thing in the goddamn casket, and it's a unique. Holy shit, that's incredible. But now for the hard clue. Is it going to be as lucky? Probably not. No, it's not, but I'm more than happy with those mole slippers. Only six more uniques to go, and we got the whole beginner clue log done. All right, I got what I came here for. Uh, I know there were not any in-between clips there, but I just went straight ahead for 70 wood cutting. Uh, unfortunately, that is not going to get me to magic trees, but I don't want to waste too much time wood cutting, guys. Now, I haven't looked how many maples I actually chopped here in the wood cutting guild, so this is going to be a surprise for you and for me. Uh, I'm guessing about 2,400, but I, that's just a random... <laughs> All right, 4,500 maples, that's not bad. Let's see what fletching level we can get out of that. First things first, I don't think I have a knife anymore. 
Yeah, I lost that in the wilderness. Let me get one. Halfway through the logs and we just hit the first milestone. This is Adamant Arrows. I thought it was actually <laughs> Magic Short Boys or something. Don't know why I thought that. Because that's still far ahead. I also completely missed 1500 total. So we can finally join 1500 total worlds, which I'm pretty excited for. And almost 20 million total experience. Holy shit, the gains from these elite clues, boys. We're making progress. Well, this is probably the last level I'm getting out of these logs. 64 fletching. Uh, nothing new. Just gonna check what 65 is. Oh, uh, you short bows. All right. Yeah, I completely forgot you was right in the between there. <laughs> I had a couple leftover bowstrings in the bank, so I decided why not just round it up to 75. Uh, I mean 65, right? So we can make you short bows now. Still have a lot of bowstrings left. I really should clean up my bank. I know. I only have one bank space left. So let's do this beginner clue and um, do this elite step. I don't quite remember what what's on it. Oh, yeah. I still have to buy a pirate banana and... I have to make the Dragonstone Necklace. Step number three is Sherlock. All right. Shivering, shivering, because I still... There's still the possibility of me getting that cosmic... Double cosmic runes is the big one. I think that is 58 rune crafting, if I'm correct. 59, all right. So that's the big one that I'm going to get from Sherlock. So this might be it, lads. This might be it. This might be a grind, a two-week grind. With that room crafting level. I'm sure I can do it within two weeks, right? Sherlock, plant a watermelon seed. Hey, not too bad. I got that. Easy games. Um, what's the closest one? Probably Catherby. Legit, from the corner of my eye, I spot that I still have a herb here, which is <laughs> completely weird because this guy has probably been sitting here since like episode 22 or something. I don't even know what herb. Oh, can't even pick it, can I? Oh yeah, I can I don't know if I can pick it. Guys, I'm, I'm wondering too much. I'm sorry. I have no clue what... Why did I plant Harlanders? You know what? I'll keep the rest. I'll keep the rest there. But yeah, that's pretty weird. That's been sitting there for a long, long time. Right, now let's plant this watermelon seed. I need three. God damn it. I completely forgot how to farm. Luckily, we have enough seeds. 308. Holy shit. All right, Sherlock, I'm coming back. All right. Here we go. Moment of truth. Another Bando's guard down. That's the Casca. That is the first seven stepper of these elite clues. And elite clue number three. Let's do the beginner clue first. That is two Lawrence. You know what? I'll take it. Then the elite casket. Here we go. Number three. Oh my god, another unique. No way. And that is actually very sick. Summer pies. I think that is agility boost, which is also incredible. Yo, this casket is insane. But the royal gown though. Oh my god, that's amazing. Now let's try and get a new elite at the Lava Dragons. Currently, I can think of four ways of getting elite clues. First one being Skatizo, we already did that, but the other three are a bit more difficult. One of them is killing Lava Dragons. With the Ring of Wealth Eye, they have a 1 out of 125 drop rate of dropping elite clues. This is painfully low, I came to realize. The loop half of a key. Show the meter up. Moment of truth. Wooks! Wooks! Looks. <laughs> Fuck off with the Uncut Emerald. That is a very rare, and an elite clue is just rare. Uh, uh, that's just karma for you. And the moment I wasn't paying attention, I got PK'd again. After about 80 dragons, I lost my Ring of Wealth imbue again, and I think it's time for another way of getting elite clues. The other two ways of getting elite clues are Barrows and Barbarian Assault High Gambles. Now these two I'm going to test out in other episodes. Next episode, we'll do the Barrows method. Meanwhile, if you guys have any other suggestions, make sure to leave them in the comments, because I can use them. Anyways, if you enjoyed today's episode, make sure to subscribe, like, and check the previous episodes. I hope you're as excited as I am for Barrows, because we're going to get some loot, boys. Can't wait to meet you guys next Wednesday. Peace.